India is showing no signs of slowing down. A few days ago, it was Mission Shakti, and now it is the launch of an advanced electronic intelligence satellite, EMISAT. The satellite is capable of monitoring enemy radar, sensors, and communication devices. Apart from EMISAT, ISRO's PSLV C-45 has launched 28 foreign satellites, including those from Spain, Switzerland, Lithuania, and the USA. For the first time, payloads were released in three orbits. Should China be concerned about India's phenomenal rise in space? In 2014, after the success of India's Mars Orbiter mission, the Chinese had publicly admired and hailed India's efforts by calling the mission the Pride of Asia. Both countries have their own ambitious plans for space, and many experts believe that it does not make too much sense to compare the space agencies of the two nations. ISRO was formed in 1969, and since then, it has come a long way. Through the successful launch of the record 104 satellites by its PSLV, and through the success of its missions like Mangalyan and Chandrayaan-1, it has won global admirers. Its commercial arm, Antrix Corporation Limited, has successfully promoted ISRO's products and services. India has a total of 13 military satellites, and many advanced nations use ISRO's services to launch their satellites. India is on its way to send humans into space, and its upcoming missions like Chandrayaan-2 and the solar mission Aditya are considered very significant. On the other hand, CNSA was established in 1993. China has already sent humans into space, and it has already landed a payload on the moon. It has successfully executed docking technology. It has a bigger capacity to launch satellites, and it has a larger number of launch sites. It is also believed to have a lot more military satellites than India. For its CGWIC, China wants a major chunk of the international communication satellite market. Both countries are keen to develop a reusable launch system, and both cooperate with the other major space powers. It should be pointed out that India is an equal partner in the NASA ISRO Synthetic Aperture Radar project. Yes, there may be some similarities between the space agencies of the two nations, but it is very clear that India and China have differing objectives and differing budgets. Due to the differences in their objectives, the two nations are developing differing capabilities. Missions like artificial moons, space station, and putting an asteroid into the lunar orbit indicate that China is keener to showcase its muscle in space globally. On the other hand, ISRO's priority is to serve the people of India. Its official motto is Space Technology in the Service of Humankind. See you again.